Hey guys, I'm back again with a review of Black Like Me um, by Howard, John Howard Griffin. Um, this book is fantastic. If you have not read this book, you need to read this book. Every American should read this book. Um, now, John Howard Griffin uh, was a writer and journalist, and he decided to turn his skin black and then persist to go through the Deep South to experience what, it, what the black man was going through. Now, you're probably going to think, oh, how did he do that? Well, it was actually some kind of medical process. He took some pills um, that they use for a skin disorder, um, which may, a skin disorder where your skin becomes whiter and whiter, and they use this pill to darken the pigment of the skin. So he took mass doses of those, and he sat under um, sun tanning lights for long periods of time in order to get the full effect of dark skin. Um, so now th the thing about this book that is so important to understand is that, you know how you have those situations where you say, oh yeah, I'd love to be a fly on the wall for that one. It's the same thing, except he's actually there. And in the beginning, he's feeling, he knows he's got this black skin, but he's, sort of forgetting that he's white. And then as he goes on this long journey through the deep South, more and more he starts to identify and accept this dark skin that he has. And he starts to almost feel like the black man. Now the story itself is told in journal entries because it's basically what he does as he moves along. He um, makes journal entries and so he talks about the different people that he meets and he meets various different types of people. He has contact with black people, with white people, nice white people, not so nice white people. I would say a lot of not, not, not so nice white people. Some weird not, not so nice black people and some nice black people. But he's very good at um, analyzing the situations that he's in and um, really going in depth into what he's hearing the person say. This book was phenomenal and fundamental um, piece of written work, um, which helped get, get pushed through um, civil rights movement in the 60s. Um, it was 1959 when John Howard Griffin um, went on this experiment and he wrote the book and it was published in 1960. Um, it's phenomenal. And he's a fantastic writer. The, the writing is poignant. Um, it's beautifully written and it's extremely pertinent and, um, and, and very critical. In the beginning, he's, he's always ready to give the benefit of the doubt of the situation. But as he continues on, he realizes he can't do that. It's just not possible. And um, you'll see in places where it's just like, wow, you know, it's really heavy. Um, I This is my second reading of this book, and I'm glad I read it a second time because I forgot so many things about it. Um, but as I was reading, I started thinking about my mother. Um, I'm born in 1966, and so my mother was, around 1960, was just about to go into university. And I was thinking, oh my God, how did my mother live through this? Oops, sorry. How did, that's my daughter. How did my mother live through this period? We really have to thank our mothers, our grandfathers, our great grandfathers for all of the fighting and, um, resilience and praying and protesting and everything they did for our African-Americans to have the freedoms that we have today. 
Um, really, I do encourage you all to pick it up. It is poignant. Bye-bye.